15 lads who will start the action there be photographed. Jimmy Brown from Ballina, the honour of leading the coming champions in their quest for glory this afternoon. Noel Durkin there with Greg Maher. And as you'll gather, that huge and highly partisan ovation that the Mayo fans gave their team, something we'll remember. But now, it's the turn of court. Dennis Allen at the head of a hungry side, hungry for glory, following the reversal at the hands of me in the last two years. Huge support for Cork. Let's take a final look then at the starting lineups. Cork to begin with, Cork omitting John O'Driscoll, recalling Niall Cahalan to the full back line, moving Tony Davis to wing back and switching Barry Coffey to left half forward. Mayo also making their one change as they go into the huddle. For final words of guidance. One change since the semi final for them. This is the alteration, Greg Maher winning a place in the first 15. He's at number 10 with his older brother Sean in midfield alongside the impressive and high-fielding Liam McHale. The throw-in on the 101st All-Ireland Football as final is underway. Teddy McCarthy straight away up to Dennis Allen. Receives the return, knifes his way through. Good pace. Knocks it outside to Barry Coffey. Well blocked down by Michal Collins of Mayo. A good second phase play, however, by John Cleary alert to the possibilities to Paul McGrath pushed it seemed by uh, Dermot Flanagan and he was near the sideline and the referee has signaled that it was a push it's a free into Cork a push by Dermot Flanagan Larry Tompkins first opportunity to belt this one in 22 points in his three All-Ireland finals so far including last year's draw which he scored eight Cork are in front giving Cork a one-point lead. Again, the kick-out intended for Willie Joe Patton. He gets it, getting there ahead of Conor Cunahan. So vital to Mayo's hopes. This is Jimmy Burke. A low one inside, and Kearns nurses it all the way, as Liam McHale was the last one up there with the forwards. Willie Joe Patton. Centre half forward. Kearns kick. Intended for Barry Copper. Picked up by Tony Davis. Getting the return. Greg Maher back there. Putting in the defence. Dennis Allen to Larry Tompkins. And a third point. Tompkins, cork scorer of all three points so far. He's starting in very convincing fashion indeed. TJ Kilgallen, his marker, has the left leg strapped as we noticed in the parade. And I wonder if it's going to hamper his mobility somewhat. Here's Dave Barry. Trying to go around John Finn. Looking for support, holding it up. A little flick across to John Cleary, getting there. Nice sidestep. Good turn of the hips. An incisive run. And John Cleary has scored. Cork have opened up a four-point lead. And there are only eight and a half minutes gone in this All-Ireland football final. Mayo still to score then. Liam McKay. Off balance. Eisman has the flag raised over there. That's Joe Woods. Michal Collins. Will it Patton? Superb! Now can they finish? Under pressure. Oh, that's a mighty one from Willie Joe Patton and Mayo off the mark. The second fine catch he's made in the match and it finally produces a score for Mayo. Very much a solo effort. This was the catch, superbly taken down. Now look at the number of players around him. Three, and he still managed to get in a kick and slot it over the crossbar. Oh, Dermot Flanagan has put his defence in trouble. But a backward sideline ball and Paul McGrath, his man, with possession. Back to Teddy McCarthy outside the 20-metre line. Dodging inside. And the error is penalised because it comes off the post. But Cork's luck would seem to be in where the upright's concerned. It's gone over. Teddy's first point. Cork's fifth. Irwin 
picking up the totally unmarked Greg Maher. Greg playing in his second championship match. Jimmy Brown. Again, it's Brown. Good run forward, and there's support from TJ Kilgallen. Again, he opts to carry. Chipping it forward to Willie Joe Cotton, drifting away to the right. Cunahan follows. Trying to cut inside. Left footed inside towards Kevin McStay. McStay and Cahalan. Kevin McStay. And yes, a point. A point for Kevin McStay. And that will do his confidence an awful lot of good. It also boosts the prospects for a really good match. Certainly the opening 18 minutes has been very enjoyable football. And this is Slocum. Trying to dodge around Sean Maher. Still Slocum, their club mates as of the last couple of weeks. Barry Coffey, good catch. Trying to find up uh, John Cleary. Links up well. Tompkins getting around John Finn's challenge. And it's over the bar. Larry Tompkins has kicked his fourth point. So a wonderful piece of scoring by Larry Tompkins. Three points the margin. And that's the amount of time there in the top right-hand corner of the screens. The time left in the first half. Cork made the more impressive start, but Mayo have crawled their way back into this fixture. And it's turning out to be an invigorating All-Ireland football final. Cunahan. Into space to Dennis Allen. Towards Paul McGrath. 20 metres out, beating Flanagan to it. It drops down, and it's over! First point of the match for Paul McGrath, edging Cork into a two-point lead with that amount of time remaining in the first half. Gabriel Irwin's kick out, not such a well-struck one, Dave Barry picking it up. Good menacing run by Dave Barry. The outside of the boot again and it curls in and that's gone over as well, his first point. Four of the six forwards now for Cork have scored in this match. Three of the Mayo forwards have scored. And now it's with Dermot Flanagan. Into the stride of Willie Joe Patton. Saw that his immediate colleague forward was marked, but this is Finnerty. A player who wants to show his pace, prove himself as well. And it came, comes off Conor Cunahan for another 45. A good piece of defending following a good burst forward by Anthony Finnerty. So Finnerty remains down there. And we're now into injury time for the injuries to uh, some of the players in the first half, but Jimmy Burke in particular forced off. So Michael Fitzmaurice with the game well into injury time, a minute and a half on my watch, having elapsed so far. Two points the difference, nine points to seven. Cork the leaders, will he opt to drop it in? He'll realise that there isn't too much time left in the first half. He's gone for a point and he's got it! A fine kick from Michael Fitzmaurice, his fifth of the match. They've all come from freeze, they've all been critical. He's the game's leading scorer and now it's so delicately poised, very near to half-time. The people who said it was going to be an easy win for Cork, forget all about it. Mayo meant business. Mayo bidding to win the title for the first time in 38 years. It's 16 years since Cork last won it, 1973. Willie Joe Patton back there, but it's Dave Barry getting the break of the ball outside the Mayo 45 metre line. Paul McGrath's in there ahead of Dermot Flanagan. On his left and it's over the bar. Lovely style, clinical finishing from Paul McGrath, his second point. Cork opening up a two point advantage once more. That kick coming three minutes into injury time at the end of the first half. Greg Maher, once again, high fielding. Willie Jook, or Michal Collins rather. It's Liam McHale. Liam McHale still following up over there, but the ball held up and it's Slocum it gets the boot to it. A sideline ball to Mayo. Still the referee allowing time for the injury there, in particular to Jimmy Burke.
Brigham waiting inside marking Liam McHale as Fitzmaurice takes the sideline kick another well directed one across towards the tall man and it's Finnerty who gets it McHale holding it up inside towards Mihal Collins but really it was a giveaway of possession and the referee says let's have the ball in any case the final piece of action at the end of what has been a very good first half the fans 68,000 at Croke Park thoroughly enjoying it Cork the leaders by two points half time score Cork 10 points Mayo 8 confirmation of the score at the start of this second half Sean Maher feeding it forward towards his brother Greg drops into the waiting arms however of Stephen O'Brien outside towards Tony Davis left footed forward towards John Cleary can't quite hold on to it it's Willie Joe Patton up towards Anthony Finity it breaks down into the waiting arms again of Stephen O'Brien held as he was trying to make that move out of defence Kerrigan swiftly forward Shea Fahey Dave Barry over there challenging with John Finn it runs on towards Paul McGrath McGrath with two fine points in the first half left footed inside towards John Cleary back to Dave Barry and wide of the target Gabriel Irwin appearing in his fourth championship match taking the kick out Willie Joe Patton one handed magnificent he held on to it superbly and the referee seeing that there was a push there on Willie Joe Patton TJ Kilgallen meanwhile kicked into space Teddy McCarthy trying to read it but it's Liam McHale getting there first inside towards Anthony Finity and it's Noel Durkin this is Finity that's a goal for the first time in the match a goal by Anthony Finity with their first attack of the second half the Mayo fans perhaps scenting a victory this is the move and Noel Durkin was instrumental in getting there ahead of Jimmy Kerrigan and Vic Slocum the release outside and that was a super finish by Anthony Finity his third goal in the championship Teddy McCarthy have to come into this match a little bit more and it's Conor Cunahan into space nicely to Dave Barry remember a point between the teams Dave Barry and it's the equaliser from Dave Barry with his second third rather point of the match first of the second half sides level and John O'Mahony there the team manager who's done so well to take his side to this All-Ireland final out on the edge there with some words of guidance for his midfielders Cork, I can tell you, are getting ready to make a substitution on the far side. John O'Driscoll will be coming in very soon. It's an hour of peril for Cork right now. Paul McGrath swinging it across to John Cleary. Sides tied up. Cleary trying to put Cork back in front again. Recovering. From an awkward angle, he's put it over the bar. His second point, and Cork are now back in front as they were at half time. They were behind for just five minutes. This is the pickup again by John Cleary, 13 metres out, and Jimmy Brown was just unable to get tight enough on the Castlehaven man to prevent him swinging over the point. Oh, poor kick out by Gabriel Irwin, it led to a point in the first half, this time Mayo recover. Dermot Flanagan out to John Finn. Mayo will want to see him involved in the action a bit more, a slack clearance comes straight to Teddy McCarthy, alive and alert at all times. Down into the path there of John Cleary, pursued all the way by Jimmy Brown. The Mayo ca captain bidding to prevent Cork advancing. It's McCarthy again who initiated that move. Well stopped, however, by Gabriel Irwin. Neither goalkeeper severely tested other than that uh, goal that Mayo scored four minutes into the second half. Durkin into Anthony Finnerty who took his eye off it. And that will favour Cork. So it's Davis finding Tompkins. Still on the 40. Outside to John O'Driscoll. First chance to impress John O'Driscoll. This is John Cleary. 
challenged over there and he holds the ball too long and it's going to be a free out for Mayo Noel Durkin the one who invited the cork man into the holding error Liam McHale that's fisted away from McHale by Conor Coonahan reaches Michael Slocum Jimmy Brown reading it perfectly trying to go around Paul McGrath there's Flanagan into space again it's that lazy style of McHale he can be a big influence yet before the conclusion of this match and a sliding challenge which the referee didn't appreciate it's going to be a free for Cork so as they move back in towards defence Michal Collins marking Shea Fahey quickly taken by Teddy McCarthy finding Larry Tompkins to get some space Willie Joe Padden McCarthy once again it runs loose to John Cleary and that's gone over the bar an exemplary finish there by John Cleary his third point of the match and there's now a two point gap again between the sides and that's more or less as it was at half time some holding by Larry Tompkins into the back that time I think of uh, Willie Joe Padden Michal Coss takes the free quickly Liam McHale in a good run a good move forward now can he finish yes he can McHale his first point of the afternoon and a point now the margin once again Mayo fans up there really now overjoyed by the level of their team's performance 3-1 to one outsiders the bookmakers had them they believed they were supporting a good team and it's Willie Joe Patton here who could well inspire them yet Greg Maher pushed to the ground but given an advantage Stephen O'Brien his marker Noel Durkin 45 metres out full of intent finding McHale there's a player loose inside that's Finity and a brilliant interception that comes to Sean Maher looking for a second goal blocked down brilliantly by a hard pressed Cork defence right now and the ball was scooped on the ground by one of the Cork backs and it's going to be a free in for Mayo and they can hit the front once again another well struck one and it's over the bar by Fitzmaurice his seventh gives Mayo the lead once again Liam McHale rocks it down the Cork defence freezes it's Darkwood who comes in players to aim at Finnerty is one of them the driving shot oh it's gone screaming across the face of the goal well if Mayo eventually lose this match by a point or two that might be the moment they'll look back to Slocum taking back that free which wasn't all that well hit in the first place Tompkins was calling for it so was Dennis Allen Allen with possession can he give the leadership he lays it off inside and it's gone over the bar it's a point by Paul McGrath McGrath's third so the sides are level once again So the game very much there for the taking. A compelling championship clash. Michal Collins there, connecting with Teddy McCarthy. Willie Joe Padden going back into the Mayo defence. This is a moment that really is going to test the mettle of both these sides. Mayo who haven't played in the final before. Cork who played in three in the last two years. That because of a drawn match last year. Peter Ford struggling to get away from John O'Driscoll it's 45 metres from his own goal Conor Cunahan under it with Big Marrow breaks down to Niall Cahalan trying to take the game by the scruff of the neck for Cork Michael McCarthy rounding Dermot Flanagan still Flanagan in pursuit McCarthy kicking scoring and Cork have gone in front once again a useful substitution by Cork, Michael McCarthy's first point. Cork who struggled for long passages of the second half. Such was the competitive nature of the Mayo challenge, but they aged into a one-point lead as Dermot Flanagan was powerless to prevent McCarthy getting in the right-footed kick which sailed well over the crossbar of Gabriel Irwin. Liam McHale, superb at midfield challenged by Dennis Allen it breaks down to Paul McGrath 45 metres out from goal is the game going to be won and lost for the next few minutes Teddy McCarthy flying it's over the bar Teddy McCarthy's second 
points. Cork are ahead by two points. And there are now just over eight minutes remaining. Dermot Flanagan facing his own end line, doing well, extricating himself from difficulty and backed up by TJ Kilgallen to the pass outside there, quite legally towards John Finn, it's picked up by John O'Driscoll, a searing run forward and there's no marking inside, Cole McGraw was loose and for a moment there as well Michael McCarthy was loose, it's with McCarthy, the turn, well tackled by Michal Collins but it's still McCarthy and the high angle shot has gone over the crossbar and Michael McCarthy has picked two points for Cork since coming on as a substitute and this skibbereen player is delighted with himself he'd be sure as he opens up a three point gap so a goal separating the sides and on my watch six minutes to go Dennis Allen to Danny Cullity Cork would seem to have weathered a storm or are we being a bit previous McCarthy no luck with his shooting this time here's John Finn to set things moving from left half back for Mayo Mayo have played some really fine football this afternoon there was a jersey held it was Liam McHale it was being held by Teddy McCarthy and a substitute Brian Kilkelly coming in Kilkelly is the one who comes in he's coming in each of the last three matches for Mayo exactly five minutes to go now Cork ahead by three Mayo looking for another score, perhaps a goal. Will it be Finnerty who'll send it up for them? That's neatly inside. Kept going. Fitzmaurice with the final shot, rasping but wide of the target. Willie Joe Patton going, meeting but not gathering. Instead, it's taken over there by Ray Dempsey. Another substitute in this match, Danny Cullity with possession. Dermot Flanagan is trying to get to the ball that time. I think he was being held. The referee allows an advantage and has come eventually as a sideline ball. It'll be a sideline ball to Cork. Still under pressure back there in their back division and it's John Finn, left half back, gathering with poise. Kicking deep into a congested midfield, congested with Corkman, but it's taken by Ray Dempsey and Ray Dempsey holds. He was fouled by Conor Cunahan. And the Cork defence not yielding any space and the referee Paddy Collins has handled the game very well, I feel. Penalising the Cork defence a further 10 metres. Kevin McStay looks like he's going to be the one to take it. I feel he might well be better used in around the forward line just now, but it's McStay who takes it in any case. A good ball too. McHale is in there, punched, but stopped by Jimmy Kerrigan. And Kerrigan safely gathers, he's fouled and it's going to be a free out. That was a vital interception by Kerrigan, who made another vital interception earlier in the match, when McHale was the one again who was leading the path in on goal. That's Max Day's well-driven ball, high. McHale is in there waiting, fisted on, and Kerrigan on positioning. John O'Driscoll. Blocked down by Ray Dempsey, it comes to Michal Collins. This might be Mayo's last hurrah. They've got to engineer some scores quickly. Three points behind. Jimmy Kerrigan steps into the breach, however, and says, thou shalt not pass. It goes down towards Paul McGrath, fisted away by Jimmy Brown, and it's going to be a cork sideline ball. again misdirecting the shot however John O'Driscoll's across there with John Finn of Mayo Finn doing superb well caught by John Finn Dermot Flanagan and Peter Ford to launch another attack Mayo need a goal if they're to stay in the championship Slocum Paul McGrath finding Niall Cahalan could he score what a cheer there would be if we were to do so and he keeps the ball down the Mayo end of the field John O'Mahony hasn't given up, given up by any manner of means we're into the last minute however John Prenty the secretary there too rousing their team but Cork it would seem are poised to pick up their fifth All-Ireland title Dinny Allen Larry Tompkins trying to get onto the left boot in fact it's the right boot eventually and it screws inside towards Gabriel Irwin a man outside and that's Dermot Flanagan and this really has to be the last attack from Mayo's point of view Willie Joe Padden is beaten. Mayo looking a little disjointed in the last few minutes. Cork pressing home their advantage. 
Teddy McCarthy holding it up Teddy has scored two points so far in the game fails to add to his tally Teddy has buzzed around well at midfield given a lot of leadership and there it is Cork are the All-Ireland football champions for Billy Morgan's men the Odyssey ends its of style Cork fashion a victory over Mayo in the end there were just three points between the teams but Mayo made Cork fight every step of the way in what was a memorable All-Ireland final and for Billy Morgan over there and the Cork selectors the end of a long quest for honour they win the All-Ireland final final score Cork 17 points Mayo one goal and 11 for Gorge and Gorky, Ogden and Inish, on Corrin Sandwire, and Dennis O'Halleen, Captain for Edwin Corky. The crowning moment in a year of brilliant memories as the Munster and League champions Cork complete the clean sweep. Dennis Allen with the team delighted on the steps of the Hogan stand. Sam is going back to Lee side. Oh, Duran. Oh, that's big. How's the card? Pan Asorum, Sam Maguire at Lacker. How's the whole garage? The cocky, Therese, Shady Agria. Supporters of Cork and supporters of the, the actual GA games. It's a great honour for me as captain to accept the Sam Maguire and take it back to the banks of the day after 16 years. We've put you through a lot of frustration over the last 16 years. I hope to God today makes up for that. And I'd like to have three cheers now for Mayo. Hip, hip. <laughs>